Today we're taking a look at a post-shave balm by Cremo. Cremo sells their post-shave balm in a clear four ounce container with your standard pop style lid. This shave balm is a light blue in color and has a scent of a very light and clean mint. The ingredients list for this balm are on screen now. However, the main ones that you need to know about are shea butter, balboa seed oil, menthol, and tea tree oil. And out of those four, the most important is definitely that menthol as it's what acts as the astringent and the antibacterial agent. And with those ingredients, it means that this is an alcohol-free product that should have much less to no burn compared to an alcohol aftershave. The instructions to use this are fairly simple. It says to apply about an almond-sized amount to your face and neck after shaving. I prefer to put a little bit in one hand, rub my hands together for even distribution on both my head and my face. Never my experience using the Cremo aftershave balm. I found that the balm does a very good job of moisturizing the skin after a shave. There's a couple of days that I had drier skin and after I shaved and applied it, it felt revitalized and very nice and moisturized. And even until the next time that I shaved, it definitely felt like the skin itself was a bit more soft than what it was when I wasn't using this. I found the balm very easy to dispense out of the uh, bottle. All you really gotta do is give it a good shake to get any of the product down by the top of the container. Then you can simply pop that lid and squeeze lightly to get the amount on your palm that you want to use. I found that I could usually always get just the amount that I actually needed very simply. Now, although it dispenses fairly easily, I did find that every now and then you would end up with a little bit drier chunk of a balm because it doesn't always fall back into the container from the little nozzle dispensing point. However, that little bit usually mixed in fairly well with the rest of the balm that I was dispensing that wasn't on the drier side. I found that it takes less than that almond sized amount that they suggest on the instructions to be able to cover my entire face and head. Now this is a cooling formula because of that menthol it does give kind of a cooling effect to your face which is definitely a nice one. Now I usually only got that for right around 10 minutes or so because I use much less than what they actually recommend to you. However, if you use the amount that they're saying, it should last right about an hour or maybe a little bit past. Now, I will say that if you are using the proper amount on this, that it may have a bit more of a burning sensation in those spots that may have micro nicks and such. At least that's what it felt like to me, but it didn't last more than a couple of seconds before I would then get like the more cooling sensation that they are touting that you should get with this. The burning sensation that I felt when using the proper amount of this was not anywhere near what you might get with a alcohol aftershave. Now overall, I think the uh, Cremo Post Balm Shave is a fairly decent product as it definitely helped moisturize my skin after shaving and it doesn't have an overpowering scent. It also has a fairly decent uh, price range, right around $10. And for a four ounce container, if you're using less than what they're recommending, you should get quite a while and quite a few shaves out of this product. If you wanna pick yourself up the uh, Cremo uh, post a shave a balm, make sure to check out the link down below. And to learn more about aftershaves and the types that there are, go ahead and check out this video up here. Down below, that's one that you may enjoy as well. Until next time, as always, you have a good one.